welcome to another process video. Today we're going to make a little slow stitch fairy, a little fairy that you can take with you and just keep adding stitches. A little stitching for the soul. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to go through, I'm going to, we've got a simple pattern and I'll go through how I make that and how I cut her out and piece her together. It's slow stitching so any stitch goes and it, she's just raw edges, she's just joined together by any simple stitch. So I'll pull you closer so you can get a good view of how she is made. Here she is. Still not finished. She's having. Oh, whoopsie. She's trying to fly away. She's got lots of slow stitching on her. I'm going to do more as well. <laughs> She's got um, heart shaped wings at the back. My little rag doll inspired by Aunt Bex. Right. The key fairy. She is a very simple design. Keyhole design. Can you see how I have folded it in half to get it symmetrical? Now you can either go to Google Simple Images or wing it to make your keyhole shape. And let me show you how I I put her together before she gets slow stitched. So then I took the pattern and I cut it down. To make head and shoulders and then a little dress. Little dress. You can see this is a bit different. I I I, I just winged it really, but you can use the pattern. There we are. So let's cut cut a little head. This is with the tea stained cotton. Some old cotton nightdress here, so I'll just leave that in there to steep. <laughs> just to take the edge off it. gave me the idea for the key fairy? Well, I've already got a full journal. I just love keys. Just here. You can see when it's on the shelf, I just keep adding things. Oh, look, a key tag from Ellie Bean. What else did I? Oh, Rebecca's prompts. I did a, a keyhole page. Yeah, I just love I just love keys and keyholes and ah, oh, there we are. Oh, that's a shape I could have drawn around it. Yeah, probably not quite fluffy enough. Hmm. And then cut out a dress. I cut one out. This one is cut out on old an old fleece blanket that Ben brought back or you might have some wadding or, or a jacket that's old and you don't want to use anymore so there she is she's got head front and back and oh look there she is let's Let's make her a back. Isn't this, oh, I love this fabric, so 70s. So is that the same size as that one? Yes, I think so. So holly hobby, isn't it? 
wonderful. This was from Jennifer, my auntie Jennifer. There we are, pin that body down. And this is her, her little back. of the fabric down and then I'm just going to cut out some of the wadding just to make her a little bit fluffy and I'm going to cut that a little bit smaller. That's her, just makes her a little bit fluffier and then her dress can go there, on the top of there. You can see this one, I've got patchworks of, of fabric and lots of stitches. Dress. And then where's her little head? Hmm. Here. One. Two, three, and then pop her head on like that and pop that, her head, inside. Pop her little dress over and pin her up and now, and now she is ready for you to relax and so she's simply like that. Now I'm not giving you measurements because all of yours will be completely different sizes. But I've made the pattern for her wings so they show on the outside and come down there like that. I've, I've got the shot silk here from Auntie Jennifer. I will cut Fold it in half so you can cut two wings out. And then we'll need these wings. She's got two sets of wings. Because this was my prototype, I made these too long. So let's make another pattern. This will show you how I make the pattern. I just literally, I, yes. I just, let's just see. Yes, I think if I cut down here, no right or wrong really, let's see, yes, and then cut out another pair of wings, so with the fabric doubled, if you double it, it makes two. Mm. I thought, where did I get the idea for heart shaped wings? Well. Let's have a look at Penny Angelica. There we are. There she is with her heart-shaped wings at the back. This, it's from Kimberly. So I got the idea from Kimberly in 2021 and it's just stayed with me ever since and then just popped out of nowhere. Let's go over her one more time so you know what's involved. So you've got the dress. You've got her head. You've got the other part of her body with the wadding and the material on the outside, the good bit of material on the outside. You've got the wings, two of them with the with some wadding in and the bu the butterfly, the heart-shaped wings with some wadding in, all ready to slow stitch. Now, you might find another way, your own 
pattern? Oh, what are your ideas? Oh, let me know. Oh, I do love it when we can chat in comments. Yes, let me know. What sort of fairy or shape are you going to do? Or ragdoll? We all have a different idea and that's lovely. Or oh, you can um, use this pattern. Use, use whatever pattern you want. So we've got one, that's the original. So we've got one, two pieces, three, and four there. Hmm. I was sat here amongst the leftovers and just with the little leftover bits, I just made another one. So it just adapt, adapt it to the size of fabric you have. Yeah, things change and evolve, don't they? Mm. This is fast becoming my favorite spot to sit and sew. Ah, lovely. Hmm. Ah, oh, little Freddy. <laughs> so, breakfast. Oh, someone doing some DIY in the background, of course. Ah, <laughs> oh. I'm putting lots more ruffles on this one. And then I was chatting to Melinda in comments, and she said she'd made a fairy with lots of buttons on her dress. And I thought, ooh, that's a great idea. That's what I love, the teamwork. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work. I'm going to be, this is very therapeutic. I'm going to be choosing some buttons to go on a button dress. Now that is just a wonderful thing to do in itself. Mm. Oh, that came off some linen trousers. Some are vintage and some are not so vintage. <laughs> then all of a sudden, a gust of wind comes and um, blows, blows things away. A little heart of love that I'm in the middle of. And there's a little dress. <laughs> Drink here that I just got in my travel it and oh just making ruffles to put on very inspired by Maria Kay over on her Instagram yeah just simply ruffling them up no plan but you can have a plan if you want a plan um yeah you do you but it's slow stitching so anything goes and then just stitch it on. Freddy's there because we're in the shade. Mm. I had this thicker thread from Linda and I think I'm just going to put some of this all the way round that's that's how i'm feeling at the moment i think the yellow is beautifully bright nice and sunshiny i think it's going to be like a little vine curling throughout hmm, hmm. there we are sometimes we get the sounds of people driving by and because it does seem quite peaceful in the garden but don't forget I live very very close to a large town city this is our little oasis isn't it Freddie hmm. he's changed spots in the garden <laughs> there he is changed to that side <sighs> Any stitch goes big, small. 
I think some gold would be gorgeous in here as well. I think one of Jenny's buttons will look lovely on here. Hmm. I've drawn features on her just very simply like I do with my little sketchy fairies. Oh, here's little Freddy after his wonderful time at the river. Hmm. Just simple little stitches for her mouth. Oh, what colour hair? One of the blues? Teal. Oh, let's give her teal hair, shall we? What fun. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, I'm just doing the cross stitch for her hair, really. Let me just show oh, yeah. you how to do that. Oh, thank you. I've been wanting to know how to do a fairy's hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. You know, I, I've been thinking about it. True, true. I know. Do you know what? The funny thing is I came to the conclusion of cross-stitch. Cross-stitch, yeah. I thought it would work really well. Cross-stitch her hair. Go over yeah. here like this. And yeah, uh, has, she, has she dyed her hair? It's green. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. Yeah, yeah green she's, hair. She's no, I think her, hair. her hair's like that. Oh, okay. Mm. Natural green. Can okay. you see that? I haven't tied a knot in. I'm just <laughs> trying to go and it keeps slipping out. But never We're mind. We're not cutting now. You've got to go with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Yeah. 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 So I'm, we trying want it to natural. Get, I'm trying to get in the rhythm of doing. Oh, yes. Yeah. So then I'll go down like that and then like that and then over. And then down like that. Now oh, you don't. Hold on a sec. Where's yes. The oh, the hair's going down the side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. It's sort of symbolic hair, really. Oh, and okay. then you come up like this to make the cross. Now, if you if you can't. That's pretty. Oh, <laughs> if you can't get the yeah. hang of cross stitch, don't don't worry because this is slow stitch. Just do any stitch. If you got the. Hood yeah. Into. Yeah. Oh gosh, I've got. Got a knot in it now. Ooh. I know, yeah. Okay. Oh dear. Does oh that dear. happen often? It usually does. Oh, okay. And then yeah. just over over there like that. Like that. And then come up through there ready to do the next cross. And then she's got a little bit of symbolic hair there at the side. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Just a little close up view so you can see the stitches just simply over over or if you want to you can do the blanket stitch do whatever stitch you know or feel comfortable doing and zap biscuit anyone Anzac biscuits, one of our favourites, and you can make them gluten free too, uh, with gluten free flour. They've got coconut oats and gluten free flour in. They come from Australia, and we first heard of them. One of my favourite TV shows is a soap, soap opera called Neighbours, and um. That's how I first learnt about Anzac biscuits. And I know that some of you, they'll be your favourites too. That and fairy bread. Mm. It's nice to spend this gentle time stitching together, taking a nice Deep breath. Oh. Hmm. What's Flo been up to? What have you been up to, Flo? Oh, I can see you've changed outfit. Oh, Flo collects keys too. Oh, Let, let's have a look. Oh, you've collect them on. Oh, you've got a little key on your headdress. Ah, oh, that's lovely. I love it. 
Can we have a look at your journal page as well? You make my heart smile. Oh, I love it. You're making a smiley face journal. Uh, Flo, good idea. So you literally just join them together with the, any simple stitch you know, raw edges. They're not going in the wash, so it doesn't matter if they fray. Hmm. Should we pull an ATC? Thank you, Primrose Hibiscus. She is. Oh, how lovely. Right. Oh, did you pick this one, Primrose Pibiscus, for us? Wow, thank you. Follow your heart, and it's a little fairy, and some flowers. And it's by Irene. Thank you, Irene. It's absolutely beautiful. Isn't that lovely? It adds a little bit of magic to the desk for the day. I'm going to pop it up there. Thank you so much, Irene. Follow your heart. I love that. Can you see what's started to grow from the log on the desk. Yes, a mushroom, a mushroom pin cushion. Oh. Shall we light a candle? In our hearts. I know I've got a list of people that I'm keeping in my heart as we go through the week. And I know that you have too. And also, we're lighting a candle for you. Or light a candle for yourself. Hmm. Well, I better go. And next time I see you, we will be in St. Ives. I'm already here packing a pile of things to take with me. I've got, isn't that wonderful? That's my notebook. I've got, I've got board colour pens. I thought that'd be great. I've got my fairy journal and... My DIY wreck this journal. I thought that's a great journal to take on holiday. Lots of plans for that one. Yes. <laughs> right. I'll say goodbye. Take care, everyone. Bye. We must remember to take this little pot of treats on holiday with us, yeah? Definitely. And I've got some friends to play with. Two other dogs on holiday, won't you? Mm. I know. Ben? Yeah. Um, do you know what I'm making this week? 
Uh, I don't know. I'm still on the pineapple. But, um, <laughs> I'm going to go off the pineapple now. now can I direct eating. you to the yep. slow stitching, please? Slow yes, stitching. I mean, okay. really. Right, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making sandwiches. Oh. Sandwiches, mm. little triangular Tasty. sandwiches, cross cut off. Do you know what? They look full of fibre. <laughs> I know, they're sort of brown. Not much protein in them. Brown that. bread. Yeah. Ah, yeah. well, I'm not going to fill them with protein. I'm making cucumber oh, sandwiches. Wow. <laughs> they look pretty inside cucumbers. Amazing. This is my, just little, my little impression of the inside of the cucumber <laughs> I carved a carved a little carved a little stamp mm. oh uh, this is for your triple plate thing yes for my triple plate thingy so they're gonna <laughs> go in there yeah as you do and I think I'll probably have it that you can lift that off because yeah. you might want to put a little salt on your cucumber yeah. Yeah, yes. no, that's true, yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, that... they're, they're vinegar, aren't they? they? Oh, we have as vinegar, but other yeah. people don't. That was a Nana thing. Ah, and okay. maybe yeah. her yeah. grandmother. Mm. Yeah. And they're good enough to eat. They Very do, they do. Yeah. This weather, actually. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Right. Picnic. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you made fairy cakes for the picnic. Oh, well done. Good idea. Such a beautiful boathouse. The River Thames at Kingston. Ah, oh, little canal boats. That's oh, lovely. That's nice. Okay. Lawn. Yeah. I know, right. Oh, well, they're, they're, they're constant. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. A little river trip. Oh, I like it. <laughs> 